how about going back to 170? Does that make this whole experience a lot better for you? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, I think it's much easier for me, you know. Um, I know, you know, not many guys think like that, but that is a life after fighting, right? We, we just fight for a very short time. I'm like, I will, oh, uh, I'm going to get old, you know, 60, 70. I want to have a good life later. I don't want to kill myself. Uh, 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 I think that's, you know, I want to see my grandkids. I want to see my kids growing yeah. and have a good health. And I think what's a uh, smart move, be at 170 again. So you're ranked in the lightweight division. You you come back to 170. Vicente's ranked 10th. Has the UFC said anything to you? Do do you beat him, and then theoretically you should be in the top 10, obviously. But ha have they told you anything about a path to the title? No, they haven't. But like I know, like being a former champion, my way to the title is shorter. Uh, I'm not trying to think. It's hard not to think uh, about the title. Especially a competitive guy, a former champion like myself, it's very hard to not to think of. But of course, a good victory over Vicente this Saturday will put me in there. Especially, uh, I've fought Kamaru, I fought Leon Edwards, I fought uh, Kobe Comfort for the title. So, and I went distance with all these guys. And uh, and uh, I know being being on this position, my 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 way to the title is shorter. I, I'm sure about that. So I'm just th trying to think uh, for each fight at the time. And a good victory this is going to put me right there. Do you still believe, and obviously everybody knows what you've accomplished, an absolute legend. Do you still believe at this a place in your career that you still can beat the guys at the very top of the division and be champion? I believe so. I, I really believe so. I know how how... So uh, let me put it this way. I know there's a guy upstairs. If he points it to you and say, hey, may you going to win again? You will. Nothing can stop. And I, I've, been, I've been in this situation before. And I trust God. When he wants something, he make it happen. So I'm ready. I'm, I'm a tool in his hand. And I'm, a, I'm, you know, I do my part. I get ready. Yeah, and always put on a good fight. Um, you talked about a life after fighting, about being with your kids and, and grandkids someday. How much longer do you want to do this, Rafael? Yeah, I know I know the, the, the finish line is closer than the start line. I'm you know, I'm you know, I'm 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 aware of that, but um, I think like the first the first time to see when it's time to stop, it's your body, you know. If the body start hurting, this and that, a lot of injuries. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I'm training really well. I think the the mind, the heart is the last to, you know, you start feeling on the body first, and then you start. Hey, I think it's time to stop. I'm not even close to that. You know, I'm. I have so much on me. I'm. You know, I love training. I love do what. You know, uh, uh, I love training. You know, I love be active. And we'll see, man. When when my body start giving it up, and then I feel my heart, it's time to to stop to hang up the glove. I will do so. Well, as a guy who loves watching you fight, I'm happy to hear you say that. Uh, what you know, obviously Vicente, as tough as they come, like you, powerful, all of that good stuff. What do you think this fight looks like on Saturday? Yeah, I think it'll be a war. Uh, Vicente is a guy that walks forward. Good ground game, good uh, wrestling. He's a very good, good striking, uh, very good overall, well-rounded fighter. But I don't see this fight going decision. You know, like uh, I think I have more experience for for with uh, five rounds fights. But yeah, I'm looking forward to man to put on a great performance, push the pace, and just be me, be first. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the W. RDA, let me get you out of here on this one. And I'm asking you this because you're obviously incredibly familiar with Nate Diaz. Uh, I, I don't know if you're into Jake Paul at all, if you've watched any of his boxing matches or anything, but they fought Nate Diaz, Jake Paul fought on Saturday night. After the fight, Jake Paul says he wants to fight Nate in MMA. And he said with eight or nine months training that he believes he could actually beat Nate Diaz in an MMA fight as a guy who beat Nate Diaz, 
is that is that possible for a guy who has some high school wrestling experience but has not uh trained uh you know anything on the ground to actually uh, train I, I don't think so i don't think so i don't think uh i watched the results i didn't watch the whole fight but i don't i don't he can train for a Nate is a fighter, you know. He he got good jujitsu. He has that that mentality, the fighter mentality. It's a real fight, man. When you when you go to the ground and elbows and knees, it's a different game. It's a different game, man. I don't think I think Jake Paul can train as much as he he wants. He don't be Nate on a on an MMA fight.